Okay folks, it's Mark Sugar at Auto Clearing here in Saskatoon and I have all the latest heavy duty trucks right here. I'm just going to do a quick walk around on them and just show you some of the key differences between each of them, okay? So on the far end there I have the latest Chevy Silverado High Country and in the middle here I have a Ford F250. This is the King Ranch edition with the 6.7 liter power stroke and here I have the 2019 Ram. This is the limited 2500 heavy duty with the Cummins engine. Also it's got the power boards you can see right there. And a crew cab and we also have the Ram box here. So I'll just show you the inside. So this will be the most luxurious out of all three of them. Um, my own opinion here so just a quick look at some of the features here uh, memory seats Harman Kardon stereo 17 speakers plus the subwoofer uh, 12 inch screen so that'll be the biggest by far the second um, biggest one is the 8.4 Uconnect system which is perfect tons of room here so look at this multifunction this actually I'm not sure if you're gonna be if that's gonna show up on the camera but tons of room right there that's a wireless charger right there um, look at the ports on here okay so um, tons of features easy to use this 12 inch screen splits into two six inch screens if you so choose as well um, lots of room very comfortable nice leather uh, this also has uh, real wood real real parts on there right so um, Take a look at the cabin here. Um, also, as you may know, some extra storage in there as well. Okay, all right. Now the Ram box. So this is exclusive for Ram. And so there's a drain plug under here. So if you put your ice in there, you wanna drain it out. Also, if you need to plug something in here, if you have work tools that you're using, that'll be convenient for you there. Okay, now this one isn't equipped with the bed step, but um, there's a little piece that sticks out there. You just use your foot and it'll come out far out and really low. So it's easy to step on, easy to get into the bed. Uh, this one doesn't have it, but I recommend getting that. And uh, okay, so just a quick look around. I don't want to make this video too long. So that's the Ram. That's just a quick look at the Ram. Of course, it's got the 6.7 turbo diesel engine, Cummins 2500 heavy duty here. Um, blind spot monitoring on here as well there's a lamp right here that you can use move that around however you want okay now let's have a look at the 2019 Ford F50 King Ranch so this one has a different look uh, this one is aluminum on the body uh, King Ranch 6.7 power stroke turbo diesel um, so let's take a quick look Oh, power boards. The other one has power boards as well. And so, take a look. So this one has some memory seats as well. Um, the Ford windows come down a little bit lower. This isn't real wood, of course, but it still looks great. The leather is great here. Feels nice. Um, this one has the panoramic sunroof. So um, Ram is coming out with that later. Chevy, I'm not sure. Let's take a quick look here. Nice screen. Um, Nice big console as well, very deep. Um, this one's a little bit smaller, but it has its use. Uh, glove box there, so take a look at some of the buttons and features here. All right. Okay, I'm not as familiar with the Ford, so flat floor so the flat floor uh, will be available in the RAM as well I know that but not just yet okay of course you can move this up just like in the RAM truck I sell RAM so I'm more familiar with the RAMs panoramic sunroof is nice add your depth fluid there so that's something I want to talk about on the Chevy, which is coming up next here. Also, this one has, see, I'm trying to hold the camera and do this as well. This thing's shining in my eye here. Well, this one has the bed step that pops out of the tailgate there. Parking sensors. So that's a quick look at the Ford truck there. Now, 
here we have the Chevy truck here. So the Chevy has the Allison transmission, which is a good thing about it. That's a brand name transmission that does really well for them. Uh, the depth fluid you have to put under the hood. So uh, they'll probably be changing that sooner than later. Let's take a quick peek in here as well. The Chevy truck here, Bose stereo system, memory seats, all the options here. A wireless charging right there sunroof of course whatever options you want on here okay so uh, big console maybe not as big as the rest of them but okay all right let's go and look at the cabin here I don't want to make this video too long Interior is uh, maybe a little more plain than the competitors. So, like I said, there's no spot for depth fluid right there. They'll probably change that. And they have there's still a little bit ways to raise your foot and get in there. And also on the Ford one, uh, when you take the bed step out of the tailgate, there um, still pretty high to get up into there. Spray and bed liner, of course. This one doesn't have the power boards. I'm not sure if that's an option on Chevys. I imagine it would be. Okay, so there's a quick look at some of the pros and cons versus each one. Um, I guess everybody's gonna have their own wants and needs. So if you need somebody to help sort sort those out for you, you can come visit me at Auto Clearing in Saskatoon at 331 Circle Drive West. What I like best about the Chevy is the Allison transmission. What I like best about the Ford, I like the features of the panoramic sunroof and the flat floor at the back. Uh, and what I like best about the Ram, that 12 inch screen, amazing. And the Ram box, I really like that. And that's not for everybody now, but also the console, um, the ease of use of all the buttons. Uh, overall, this would be my pick, would be the Ram heavy duty truck. And you would, uh, you know, depending on what you're using it for, maybe you like the Allison transmission, maybe you need a, maybe you need a Ford, um, maybe you need, whatever your needs are, we'll sort it out. Come down, talk to me, and up next is the quarter ton um, trucks. We're gonna go through the Jeep Gladiator versus Toyota Tacoma versus a Chevy Colorado, all right? Okay, until next time. Click like on the videos, uh, subscribe to the channel, and uh, leave some comments. We'll talk to you soon, guys.